Hi there, it's me. I thought I would illustrate a beautiful Reddit relationship advice post because that's the kind of enriching content that I think is gonna help you in your life right now. My 36F husband, 41M, has some disturbing requests for after he's passed away. This one is really bizarre and I'm sorry ahead of time. My husband of 12 years has had some medical problems recently. The topic about end of life plans came up and I asked if he wanted to be buried. He didn't want that nor did he want to be cremated. My husband wants me to have his skull taken from his body and cleaned. Then he wants that skull put on the mantelpiece in the living room. The rest of his body he wants sent to one of those places that makes the gems out of bodies and made into two blue diamonds. He then wants those gems to be put in the eye socket of the skull to look like eyes. Then he can watch the family home and be passed down through the generations. My husband has always had a morbid, or culturally insensitive sense of humor. As such, when he'd mentioned it before he was sick, I thought he was joking. Turns out, he is not joking. He even asked me to do it too so our skulls and matching eye gems can stay above the fireplace together. I adamantly refused. I tried talking to him, but he's firm that this is what he wants. I told him that it made me uncomfortable, but he said it was also for our kids to have who are not currently old enough to weigh in on this discussion. I asked if this was his way of trying to live on with the family even after death, and he said, not really, no. I asked where he wanted the extra cremated remains from the gem company spread, and he told me that he didn't want any remains, and to just have the biggest gems possible made and have the company dispose of the rest. I argued that he had no idea if his children would want the literal skull of their father, further, which child would take the skull after I died, and in two or three generations, how would he f <laughs> how would he feel if slash when his descendants just sold this bizarre human skull at a garage sale because it means nothing to them? And finally, how is he going to feel about the fact that I, in my grief and trying to process the loss of him, would likely never take that skull out of the box, much less have to live with him staring at me every time I sat on the couch? He essentially wasn't worried or didn't care about any of it, and regarding not taking it out of the box, it's the only time he seemed upset. He told me that was what he wanted, and I'd be ignoring his final wishes. I told him that he didn't have to live with those final wishes for years to come, but it didn't matter. Part of me wants to get over my feelings, but I can't. I want to cry thinking of someone hacking apart my husband and handing me his bones, and I feel anxiety over the thought of putting that skull with his blue eyes in my home until I die. I'm fine if he wants a burial, I'm fine with cremation, viking funeral, that weird thing where they turn you into tree food, whatever. I'm even fine with the gems on their own, but this whole skull thing is really bothering me. He won't budge and he isn't joking. At this point I'm thinking I would just do a simple cremation after he passes and spread his ashes on our property, but that seems sneaky and dishonest. But there is absolutely no way that I can comfortably live with what he's asking if he passes away before me. What do I do, Reddit? Too long, don't read. My husband wants his final resting place to be on our fireplace mantle in the form of his literal skull. This is to be complemented by two gems in the empty eye sockets made from his corpse. I'm deeply disturbed by this. Help?